Hey, it's Nintendo Sony for 2011 here at Game Mania with Ring Guys of Wrestling Jersey Nitro Source Channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Bitchu, Brady, I'm Rumble, Odyssey, and everywhere else that you can. <laughs> and Float as well. Anyway, just in case anything bad happens to the channel, this was some pretty badass news here. I'm, uh, uh, no, I'm not, not really the biggest fan of, like, what's it called, the Metal Gear Style series. I never was, except for Metal Gear Rising. It's the only one I actually like, the hack and slash thing, just for those mechanics alone. Yeah, some of the story for me personally was. Kind of cringy, but still pretty cool at the same time. The rest of the original ones, I just was never crazy about my. And I'm not, not throwing shade at the dude that plays Solid Snake. The guys that play Solid Snake was super, super incredibly amazing. And unfortunately, he's my least used um, dude on uh, Super Smash Bros. All the Super Smash Bros. games I played throughout the year since, like, the Brawl era and uh, Ultimate. And then 3DS version. I never got to play the Wii U one because, obviously, a couple of years ago, I wasn't able to get it, but. Silent Hill ones always give me some really, really good vibes. Like a more steroids. It was literally like Resident Evil for me on steroids. I love the absolute goodness. Honest to goodness, greatest perfection to the T on the game I've ever loved, man. Was Silent Hill next to Resident Evil series. One of the top maybe 20, maybe not top 10, but like top 20. Maybe like number 16 or number 17. My top 20 on the list of 90s, early 2000s video games. This comes from Guillermo Ortega. Or Ortega, whatever you want to say. Silent Hill, Metal Gear, Gear Solid. Shout out to my boy Young Man. I know he covered this shit first. I get a lot of my Silent Hill, like, Metal Gear Solid moves from that dude. So I'll leave the link to his video in the description box if you want to check him out. Very, very big dude already. He's almost two million subscribers. <laughs> Anyways, um, this came from the other day, November 30th. Um, according to the rumors, hopefully I don't have to do a two part I'm about to do three parts. I don't know. Konami is working with the project Konami Productions, or excuse me, Kojima Productions and Blue Point Games for the remix of Silent Hill. And Metal Gear Solid sources that the rumors for the information are accurately leaked from God of War. This comes from I've never heard of this one. The first time I'm reading from them, Gaming Instinct. So shout out to them. This claim and this information has not been verified. Therefore, is not fact factual. Throughout 2020, several informants have claimed to know the reboot of Silent Hills in the works. Konami has allegedly re reached to the several developers to produce an episodic game. Reimagination of the original game, and later that rumor is to be developed by Kojima Productions, a team who was established by several veterans of the former Team Silent Hill. Aesthetic Games, hopefully I'm saying that right. Aesthetic Gamer, a well-renowned leaker, has also been consistently affirm affirming that Konami and Hideo, Hideo, Hideo Kojima has come out to an agreement. Sony would be covering the funds. For the funding of the PS5, okay, funding of the game, excuse me, will then have an exclusive title to the PS5. Indications for Kojima Productions also had speculation. Remember, take all this with a grain of salt. It's not 100% confirmed, but sounds very realistic to me. Very true to me, in my opinion. Let's move on. The studio that teased the Silent Hill announcement that never took place. But the original monster, Masahiro Ito, has also confirmed that the collaboration of core members is... An unpronounced project, he suggests that the project is linked to Konami Silent Hill. Well, he says, quote, I am working on the title as a core member. I hope that this title won't be canceled. I can tell you no nothing yet. Aesthetic Gamer claims that in 2019, the Silent Hill project started in Japan. He is 100% confident that Sony, Sony Japan Studios are producing the reboot. And the game will be a PS5 exclusive and being directed by to Toyama Akira Yamako. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Yamakoa. Is composing the music that Masahiro Ito, I always want to say Sakura every time I hear this from, is doing the artwork for the fan of the game. Oh, oh, oh it's going to be some good shit, man. Honestly. The leaker also affirmed that the Metal Gear Solid, for any Metal Gear Solid fans, I do it for you. It's also getting a new re remake on Blue Point Games team. So it has been working on for the last three years, three freaking years, on the game. And it's ready to be showcased at a demo on upcoming Game Awards. Jeff Keighley, my boy, man. Jeff Keighley, man. Oh, I'm going to get to that in my next thing, man. <laughs> Has been involved with the game development. Will also be a showcase of the real potential for the PlayStation 5. All right, so overall thoughts, season and opinions. I'm super excited, super hyped. Really hope the Silent Hill 1 ring X is coming. I know it's owned by Konami, but still. Oh, man, that was uh, Hideo Kojima's original baby, bro. That is a super well-renowned, like, one of the biggest in the video gaming industry. As a whole, like that man is super mega legend. I got absolute respect for him. Just like Mr. Sakurai. I remember him and Masayoshi Sakurai. 
took pictures together a few times. So I know he's good friends with that whole. Anyways, um, let's get on to the other one. <laughs> I'm just going to read the ending part of this thing right here. Oh, man. It's insanity, bro. Jeff Keighley, man himself. <laughs> he wants Nintendo World, man. And I don't blame him either, honestly. Um, by the way, guys, um, I know you saw those tweets from Jeff Keighley. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out yourself. I'm not going to read those. Because he wants you to pay for all the other stuff if you want to read it. And I'm not going to do that shit. Let's get into this one, man. Super Nintendo World will be opening February 2021. New images and car ride detail. I think it's in February. Second night or fourth, I said. Anyways, it says, um, after its lengthy delay, Universal Studios Japan Nintendo World theme park have officially opened February 2021. The news was shared by USJ official Twitter account this morning. It was also providing a great look at the park's first details. There are fantastic images uh, Excuse me, of the park itself, which looks like to be very charming. Colorful Wonderland and we can also see for the Mario Kart ride was revealed in leaks. Now detailed. This is the first time in over like two months last time I talked about Nintendo news. It's been a long ass time. Maybe the last, I don't know. Bloomberg's Kurumi Mori, hopefully I'm not sorry, Kuru, pronouncing that the right way, has also shared that more details of the bar, about the park are being treated to the first hand looks. Mori confirms that the Mario Kart ride, which is called Koopa's Challenge, on its on rails experience using the AR headset, says it will be a really cool, cool with the themes, walls, doors, banners, ceilings, lights, and a giant statue of Bowser's. That one of Koopa aka Bowser. It looks freaking badass. Let's continue. Visitors will also see us as a trophy room while lining it up for the ride. And there it is. It's official. It's from Kurumi Romi. Alright, sorry about that. I just got a text here. It's official. The very first hashtag Super Nintendo World. It will be opening in February 4th in Osaka, Japan. I get the first hand look and its confirmation with Mario Kart rides. There's an AR headshots on the rails, so the railings won't... <laughs> oh, wow. So no falling off the rainbow road. Full thread below. Yeah. This is some pretty badass shit, man. In my... There's not in my opinion. In the same timeline, same Twitter thread, Mori explains that all the rides are giving similar headsets, and each car to have four seals and a steering wheel. Riders are apparently given some control of the Mario Karts and collection, collecting their items to throw shells at other carts. Last month, a Super Mario Cafe and the store opened at Universal Studios ahead of the main theme park and launch. I completely missed that one. That was probably in October, since it's late November. By the time you guys see it, it's probably December by soon enough. And the entire thing looks pretty damn delightful, doesn't it? Yes. Extremely effing delight. Overall thoughts, you can Oh my god, I'm mega hype for this thing. Mega freaking hype. Man. This is my boy Jeremy from the cartilage, aka the quartering. <laughs> oh man. He was super hyped about this shit, man. It's my absolute freaking god dang dream to see this. Oh my god. Oh, Japan. Oh man, with all the fake um, Rona and uh, fake um, the pandemic, scamdemic shit that's going around the situation. And in my personal opinion, they're probably going to get forced to, you know, those things. Those S H O T S S, which I don't want to go into conspiracy theory, truth, or alternative media thing. I'm probably going to have to need that. Unfortunately, Japan, Japan to me has always been like a weeaboo. Freaking anime heaven, even though it shouldn't be, but because I know there's certain areas on the countryside and all that are pretty bland and normal, like the ones here in the United States and Canada. But that's all, guys. Hey, for now, oh my god, I can't wait for this thing to open up. Look at the freaking Bowser fool, bro. Koopa Bowser, you look so freaking sick, my dude. I don't even know if I could get a close up on that shot, but oh my god, look at that. Oh, he looks so menacing. So, mm, no homo or nothing. No offense to any LGBTQ plus members, but. Ah, that shit looks so good, bro. I'm gushing over this fool. Look at that. Universal Japan. Bro, make this shit real. Please. Please make this real. Nintendo. Make this freaking real, man. Oh, my God. Look at the freaking thing of Mario Kart. You know, it's all written in Japanese. That, 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 that shit looks hella bomb as frick, man. Anyways, that's all I got to say for now. I'm going to stop Nintendo fanboying and everything. I'm um, a little pedo about this right here. This black white checkerboard symbolism, but <laughs> oh man, mm -mm. And, and the eye candy for this I can't get enough. I cannot wait to see Peach, Davy, and Rose, Rosie, Rosie, Daisy, and Rosalina. <laughs> Size R34. I used to see so much of that years ago. Not anymore. Back in the day. 
That's a pleasure for myself a lot with that shit. That's all I got to say for none of out of here. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangers, as always. Tacos, Niki, Kamundis, I'll see you when I see you guys today, every night, wherever in the universe out there. Stay tomorrow, you got to share, looking at the game industry news, and the news, and our news. And of course, Twitter, Twitch, Twitch beef, drama news, I'm done. Peace out, I'm Ali Sauerkraut, late and goodbye. I'll see you awesome, beautiful people on the flip side. Take it easy, I'm going, I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Deuces, I'm out of here. I'm gone.